Hey guys, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours, and this is your Monday Minutes. Okay, so today, gonna just go over um, study tips and learning versus remembering. You know, a lot of times when we sit down to study, uh, we try to memorize stuff instead of trying to go ahead and learn stuff. So the differences between learning and memorizing is what happens is when you memorize information, it ends up filling your short-term memory, okay, and gives you a temporary knowledge that you're going to most likely forget after a short period of time. But as an EMS provider, you really have to have this lasting knowledge and understanding of you know all the life-saving skills that you're going to need. So by taking an interest in these functional skills and this knowledge, you end up becoming motivated to learn material that you're most interested in. So think about studying that as involving two sort of activities, learning and remembering the information. So a lot of students out there, when you start studying, you kind of look at it as a way of just rereading your textbook, rereading your lecture notes. But this method really is not that effective when you're learning new content. So even after you reread the material a few times, you're still going to have difficulty remembering it because it probably was never really sort of encoded into your memory system. So learning new information really requires more of a conscious effort. So I'm going to give you some strategies here that I think will help you um, ensure that the information you're reading is being learned well and is really being stored in your memory banks. Okay, so let's take a quick look here. Try to make the material meaningful. So it's difficult to remember information that's confusing, right? It doesn't make sense to you, and a lot of times the way that the writer or the author is explaining stuff or explaining these concepts and vocabulary terms you have to know end up being a little unclear to you. So instead of trying to remember the author's words or the, the writer's words, try to put the information into your own words, okay? If you do that, you're more likely... Okay, to remember them. Like the words are going to be more meaningful to you than the author's words. So try to go ahead and um, personalize that information. Okay, think of the examples and relate it to other information that you've learned uh, in your own life experiences. And by doing this, okay, you're going to find that it's sticking, okay, because if you try to just memorize it, you're not going to fully understand what's the reason why, okay, and why it's not sticking. So by going ahead and personalizing it and putting things into your own word, words, you're going to end up making it stick, and you're going to end up being able to understand the information way before you try to remember it, try to memorize it. Okay, so another thing you need to do is try to actively study. Now, I mentioned a little bit before that it doesn't just matter that you're going to go ahead and reread your text and reread your lecture notes or the study sheet or the skill sheets. What you should do is actively start thinking about the inf information you're taking in and explain the content to yourself out loud using your own words, like I just mentioned. Okay, now. After that, um, in future study sessions you do, try to go ahead and recite the information a little bit different every time, okay, sort of rewording it, sort of thinking of a different, different examples of how to sort of explain it in your own words, okay, and this is going to help you, okay, and you should try to start to think critically about the content that you're studying. Okay, think about how you can sort of note the relationships, you know, among all the different ideas and different content you're looking at. Okay, try asking yourself how or why. Okay, comparing and sort of contrasting the information you're taking in and determine the significance of what is being discussed.
Okay, so by actively thinking about the material a few times and in different ways helps keep that content alive in your short-term memory and ends up enhancing your comprehension of the material and, of course, your retention of the material. Okay, so another thing you want to think about doing is to review often, right? What you should try to do is review the content after every lecture, after reading that textbook chapter, um, after you know each lecture, go ahead, reread through your notes, highlight those key points, okay, maybe even use a, a left margin type thing um, you know on the paper to sort of show or, or note important information, you know like major concepts, vocabulary terms. Um, even possible test questions that you might think of. And also, check for inaccurate or missing information. Okay, after reading a textbook chapter, go back and reread things like the headings, the subheadings, portions of the text that you highlighted or you marked, and finally, reread the summary. Okay, a lot of times what we're learning ends up being forgotten quickly. Okay, and frequent reviewing, frequent highlighting, okay, and, and, and noting these things are going to help keep this information fresh in your mind, and it reduces the amount of time. It's going to lessen the time and help you save time. Okay, then you're going to have to spend later on in the classroom, whether it's the beginning of your paramedic or EMT class or later on towards the end, it's going to help reduce that time that you're going to have to spend later on when you're studying for an exam. Okay, so as you're reviewing, identify stuff early on that's confusing or difficult for you to understand, and to, you can go ahead then and seek that clarification. Cl seek the the um, information or the methods that are going to help you remember stuff that you find confusing or difficult. Okay, they always tell you you should try to know what you don't know, right? So try to study and focus on things that you're having difficulty with. So, guys, this is um, pretty much it. I just want to summarize real quick for you, okay? When you're studying and you're trying to remember stuff, guys, make a special effort to go ahead and remember information. Don't memorize it, but remember the information. Okay. Try to verbally discuss things. Read things out loud in the, you know, f about the information that you want to remember. Okay. Um, try to visualize images as you're learning. Think about pictures or, or images of what you're reading. Okay. Just sort of you know correlate them to what it is that you're studying for. And picture yourself doing it. Whether it's a skill, whether it's a clinical sort of evaluation. Mentally picture yourself performing those skills. And finally, guys, try to tie in that new content with what you already know. Okay? So just real quick today, guys, just some tips on studying. I hope you can use them. I hope these Monday Minutes are helpful to you. Be sure to post in the comments below any uh, information or tips you have when it comes to studying. And be sure to go check out the EMS exam uh, boot camp over on the website. It's ems4.us forward slash BC exam one. It's a little short in URL there. I'll put in the show notes. But this actually was a recorded session I did and um it was a Greg Freeze and we targeted EMS exams and you really do get sort of inside information on what you're gonna need to pass any EMS exam. You know, talk about stack testing anxiety, exam basics, um, exam formats, and even talks about the NREMT computer based exam as well. Okay, and we give you a nice, cool exam breakdown. All right, and talks about exam questions and what you can look at and the barriers. And this really can be the guy the difference between passing and failing when you're looking at how exams are structured. Go, go check that out, and um, I think you're going to find this um, exam prep boot camp. Uh, useful. A lot of recordings, there's some downloads there as well, all stuff get to help you pass your exam. So guys, um, thanks again for listening to this Monday Minutes and checking it out. Be sure again, post your comments below. And uh, until next week, as always, Jim Hoffman for EMS Office Hours, stay safe. <laughs>